Their, their brains attached to technology and AI. You've got to get them addicted to it. Stage one, get them addicted to holdables, technology they hold, and start them as young as possible. 50% of teens report that they feel addicted to their cell phones. But there's nothing to do without a phone. I know, well, like an iPad to like, watch TV or something, but I can't read for like five hours straight. I know. Reading's boring. I'm not reading. This is the first study that shows a direct link between screen time and mental health. Researchers note that rates of anxiety and depression in young people have actually risen over 70 percent. Uh, they call it digital heroin because it becomes an addiction, because the electronic stimulus and the digital stimulus becomes an addiction to the brain just like a drug does. That's why they put them down and they have to pick them up again. The friend I'm pretty sure y'all felt the same way how I felt or how I saw it when I seen these two clips, man. I was like, damn, this is how society has now become. Like, this is how social life it has now become, especially these little kids, like, on some real shit, bro. I'm gonna be real with y'all niggas, bro. When I was a kid, bro, look. I'm gonna show y'all a little something. What's this motherfucker? Nigga, I was a kid with this shit, nigga. Let's let's do this again. Let, let's turn it on again. Let's turn that shit on again. What the fuck these kids know about this shit, bro? What do they know about this shit? What the fuck is this? This ain't shit, nigga. This was the shit. This ain't shit, nigga. What the fuck, bro? Like. On some real shit, and then I'm seeing kids already learning these new advanced technology. They know how to use TikTok. They know how to use uh, FaceTime and social media. Like I'm talking about kids that's like five, four, five, six, ten years old. Like goddamn, bro. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real with y'all. The first time I actually had a phone, phone like this, like this one right here. I had this. This is my very first phone I had ever got. Not no, you know what I mean? Like, this is my, not no Obama phone, none of that. Like, this is my very first phone I got. I got this since freshman of high school. So that was like around 2015, as y'all can call it. Yeah, around 2015, that's when I got this motherfucker right here, bro. Real talk, bro. Like, and, and seeing people, I mean, I didn't have a phone, me seeing my family or other people that's got their phones, like they little touch phones. Like back in the day, like they got these little iPhones, right? These iPhones, like iPhone 2, 3, 4, I don't know. But it programmed, because y'all need to understand, pro people program other people. So when I'm seeing my family and others with their phone, with their um, touch phones, it programs me because I was a kid. It programs me when I was like, fifth sixth grade like it programmed me to really be needy to get a phone a touch phone and the only thing i want to do in a touch phone is literally like watch youtube and just download a lot of shit that's how i was you know I me mean? when i was like in the fifth grade sixth grade seventh grade you get know what i'm saying like i'd be always the type to just needy to get a, a touch phone so i could play games 
download games and watch funny YouTube videos, all that type of shit. You get what I'm saying? But now, bro, it's like kids, they be like, it's so much options to these newer advanced technology phones. Like, it's so much shit you can do. And parents don't even give a fuck. They don't monitor their kids with their phones. Like, they let their kids do whatever the fuck they want. You know, you get what I'm saying? This is why kids is getting dumber. This is why kids be doing some in inappropriate shit on social media, TikTok. You know what I mean? This is why, like, kids, this is why kids can't don't know how to read because they so because of these bro because of these the this shit is running their life bro this shit is running their life on oh, god kids don't even go outside no more you know back then when i was a kid i went outside i'd be playing you know what i mean i'd be going outside with a scooter or a skateboard and just playing some you know what i mean just playing some just messing around in public and all type of shit you know what i mean as kids going outside um, socializing, like, so, some real socialite type shit, like, back in the 90s type shit, you get what I'm saying? But now, you hardly see shit like that, you get what I'm saying? You hardly see shit like that. More kids are so addicted to smartphones and addicted to fucking Fortnite. Like, back then, I was playing the PlayStation 2. I wasn't playing no shooting games, all type of shit. I wasn't doing none of that shit. I was playing, nigga, I was playing racing games and fighting games and Nintendo games, you get what I'm saying? Like, that's my childhood right there. That's why I be saying this was the motherfucking shit. These kids don't know nothing about this shit right here. Oh, God, bro. Like, on some real shit. Like, y'all see that clip of these girls, right? These little these little girls. These, um, you know what I mean? Like, elementary school girls. Bro, without a phone, they don't know what the fuck to do. I'm telling you, this shit runs their fucking brain. This shit runs their life, bro. This is what is called digital overload. When you overload your phone, I mean, when you overload your brain with, with, with technology, like, with always using this shit, bro, it's like it's slowly turning you into an AI robot. You get what I'm saying? Because that's what they're trying to do. If you put, this is an Android phone. If you put two and two together and say Android, Android is basically a human form, but an AI robot on the inside. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you put iPhone, iPhone iPhone. We can't keep our eyes off of our phone. You get know what I'm saying? Because we get so heavily addicted to it. And it's hard to put our phones out and just go out in nature create, and create your own reality because people are so addicted to these phones. And as y'all know that I took a break from Snapchat. I took a break from Instagram. I really, I really use those apps just to promote my YouTube channel and all type of shit. Just to, some conscious shit to wake more people up. But really... That shit can stress you out. That shit, like, in so many negative ways, bro. Like, social media is just not it. So, I, I'm old, so, bro. Like, real nigga talk. I'm old, so, bro. Like, real talk. Like, this is why I got to take a break from social media just and create your own reality, bro. Like, that's, like, this shit ain't it, bro. Real talk. Like, on some real shit. Like, there's kids out there that can't even take a three days off or a week off. There's kids out there that's so addicted to how much likes you get how much followers how much comments you get you get what i'm saying because it's all addiction bro it's all addiction there's no overload bro you get what i'm saying like literally these girls the video that i showed y'all these girls don't know what the fucking do it's like without this shit <laughs> life is nigga life is over like like damn like i'm bored I need a phone, like, I gotta see what's up on social media, all type of shit, and let me let you know, bro, like, it, if you take a break, it doesn't mean you're not missing out on shit, nigga, worry about yourself, create your own reality, what the fuck is you missing out on, you're not missing out on jack shit, bro, stop using, stop, take a break from that shit, bro, take a break from using your phone in general, take a break from social media, bro, like, real nigga talk, like, it's gonna be to the point where, it's gonna be to the point where I'ma just carry, I'ma just you, I'ma get, I'ma get a flip phone. Like, fuck a touchscreen phone. I'ma give me a flip phone. You get what I'm saying? Like, fuck all this shit. Like back when the flip phone was out, not too many people was um, using it like that. You get what I'm saying? Because all you can do is just text. I think you can text and mostly just call. You get what I'm saying? But not too many people. It wasn't no social media like that. You know what I mean? It was the internet, but it wasn't like social media like that. You get what I'm saying? But you get these phones right here. It's a whole different story. It's a whole different story and the whole just a lot of addiction, bro. There's a lot of too much digital overload and a lot of addiction. Like your brain is literally so used to the screen to the point where you're you, it, it, it builds up your anxiety. It builds up depression. It builds up less confidence. 
You get what I'm saying? This is why, like, this is, for example, like, okay, these girls, right? Like, girls now, like, model women, they look up to these Instagram models. They look up to these famous female rappers. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of these dudes is liking their um, photos because she got all makeup on and, and, and plastic surgery and all, you know, fake body, all type of shit. And now she's looking at herself and, and she's seen in that particular girl is seeing them comments of a lot of females and dudes giving her compliments, giving her heart, eye emojis, all type of shit. Like, like she the queen, all type of shit. You know what I mean? So it makes that girl feel like you comparing your life, you compare her, your looks to that woman's looks that a lot of people is giving compliments to that has, you know what I mean? Like that, that girl that has a lot of followers, a lot of followers, a lot of likes, she going to compare her life to her own life. And then it's going to, it's going to make her feel insecure and thinking that, okay, so for me to get more attention, get more likes, more compliments, more validation, I must do the same thing that she's doing. Just not being natural, getting weaves, surgery, plastic surgery, makeup, all type of shit. And then just, and then boom. Like, once you do all that, boom, you're going to get more likes. You're going to get more followers. You're going to get more compliments, more validation, all type of shit. You get what I'm saying? Social media does not want you to, to look at yourself in the mirror and just be, just be like happy with yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, half of these people depressed because of these phones, bro. These fucking phones. Real niggas talk. Like, they can't they can't leave the um, phones like that, bro. Like, on some real shit. Like, this is what, this that's the big, that's the biggest problem in this, in this generation is these damn phones, bro. These damn smartphones. This is why depression, anxiety, like, real talk. Niggas can't even go out and get a girl or talk to a girl in person because... That nigga is so addicted to social media. He is dick, and he's always used to just sliding in females' DMs and trying to, you know, me shoot they shot. They can do that on on the on on the DMs on social media, but when it comes to real life, they get a little social anxiety. They don't even know what to say. They don't even know how to start a conversation. You get what I'm saying? This is why, bro. Like, like back then, before these phones, it was a challenge to crack a girl's number like that. It was a challenge to just walk up to a girl. Like, any, any guy can do that. Nowadays, niggas can't do that for jack shit. For jack motherfucking shit. You know why? Because of these. Because of this. Because of this. I'm telling you, bro. This shit fucks you up, bro. Real nigga talk. This shit fucks you up. Like... And I hate that the kids, bro. I hate that the kids is so like when I was a kid, I was not into this. Sh I was not into this shit, bro. But now it's like, damn, you seen some little kids. Like parents don't even monitor their kids. You get what I'm saying? This is why kids be doing some fruity ass shit on social. On you know what I mean? This is why kids be doing some fruity ass shit because of the shit that they look at on social media and they love that shit. They think it's cool, so they trying to do the same thing. You get what I'm saying? I'm telling you, bro, like, it could be, t like, five, seven, ten-year-old girls that be trying to, trying to do, like, you know how, you know how you go to TikTok and you see these girls trying to do these weird-ass challenges or just, you know what I mean, like, doing these weird-ass challenges with their body type shit, and then you're getting these little toddlers, these little kids doing that type of shit, and then you all like, what the fuck, where did this, where did she, how did she, you know what I mean, because of this shit that they look up to, this shit they look up to on these phones. Just like how a lot of kids, right? They look up to this nigga Lil Nas X. And you know Lil Nas X, he posts some weird shit on social media. Thinking it's cool and all type of shit. So a lot of kids look up to that shit and thinking it's cool. So they get trying to they're gonna try to be like that. You get what I'm saying? Social media does not want to social media wants you to be like other people that you never even met in person. This is why you got so many kids trying to not be themselves and trying to be thinking like this gang shit is cool and all type of shit. Because you can see all that shit on social media. You get what I'm saying? They think all that shit is cool. You get what I'm saying? Like, so that's why you got so many weird ass kids that's trying to be like other people. You got females that are trying to be like Cardi B. You got trying to, you know what I mean? All type of weird ass shit, bro. On, 
I swear to God, people don't know how to create their own reality, bro. Like, that's the thing. Like, the greatest, biggest thing that these elites, these government motherfuckers done created is for and to 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 attack the youth or or get the kids because kids don't know too much at a young age so of course that they, they look at certain things that's cool like like these higher advanced technology and they'd be like whoa that's so cool of course they're gonna get so addicted to it of course they're gonna love it they're gonna be dying to they're gonna be dying to get their hands on it you can understand just like these new iphones that coming up every three five months or type shit i don't even know bro like that's the thing bro like and of course these newer technology phones it's bad energy just like i don't even fuck with 5g like i'm right now using the iphone x i don't even fuck with that 5g shit because like, like i said bad energy it's more digital overload you get what i'm saying it's gonna be so people get so you're gonna get more addicted to that type of 5g shit than before you get what i'm saying so yeah bro and especially hold up bro especially about these right here this is a this is a technology advanced technology right these airpods knowing knowing do well that this shit right here if you put these on this shit this shit has too much frequency bro so if you put this on and blasting some music and shit that shit ain't good for you it's not good for you it's not good for your brain it's cooking your it's slowly cooking your brain and that's what these motherfuckers are trying to do they trying to kill you all slowly and by making these new advanced technology new advanced technology knowing damn well that it's not good for your health it's not good it's bad energy it's not good for your health it's not good for not you know what i mean it's not good for you at all bro you just gotta like limit yourself when you're buying these tech new technology shit bro you know what i mean and another thing too is that bro like as everyone being so damn distracted on social media on their phones everyone gets so damn like they can make up a fake ass topic right and a lot of people's gonna get too damn distracted you know what i mean this is why i be saying like an agenda they try agenda when they trying to push it they trying to push this agenda because they got a whole bunch of agendas they could just push it through social media and everyone's gonna be distracted to it everyone's gonna can't keep their eyes off their phones everyone's gonna be on social media 24 7 getting distracted by this shit that is randomly trending but really it's just some agenda that they made you get what i'm saying so as we are getting so distracted and they are trying to come up with a way to trying to turn every single one of us into ai robots that's what they literally trying to do right now is trying to turn us into a robot that's why i'll be saying don't get the jab because you know oh, what the fuck's inside of that shit real talk you get what i'm saying like people just need to be consciously aware and just be and realize that bro you cannot better your life if you always own this shit you cannot cure depression if you're always on this shit. You cannot cure social anxiety if you're always on this shit. You get what I'm saying? I swear to God, bro. Y'all gotta stop. Like, not like completely stop. You can, but y'all gotta like limit yourself when it comes to these phones and social media. Because so all social media, social media is nothing but bad energy. Bad energy. Once you hop on Instagram, you're going to see something fucked up, another black person killed, and that shit going to ruin your fucking day because of social media. This is what I be saying, bro. Create your own reality. Create your own reality, bro. Create your own motherfucking reality and, and gain some knowledge. This is why people be so dumb because of social media and the shit. You know what I mean? Kids can't even fucking read or even you know, write or whatever. You know, you know what I'm saying? Because this is their brain. This is their brain. They can't that this this is not their brain. It's already overloaded with social media. You know what I mean? That's why they trying to they trying to slowly turn us into AI robots. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, bro. Like, hopefully y'all understand what I'm saying. Hopefully this like limits yourself from using these fucking faster tech these technology type shit because it's getting worse, bro. It's getting worse. I don't know how's it gonna be when it's like a couple years to now like 2025 i don't know how technology is going to be like, it's going to be crazy of course we're going to have robots all type of weird shit that we never even thought that it would exist exist you get what i'm saying it's like everything is possible now you get what i'm saying everything is possible but yeah bro that's all i got for y'all niggas man like just and i done made a couple of videos back i'm done made a couple of videos back about social media and take 30 breaks off 
take 30, take a month, take 30 breaks off social media. It don't, it's not going to hurt you, bro. It's not going to hurt you. You're not missing out on jack shit. I promise you, bro. I promise you. Life is so much fun. Life is so much enjoyable. If you just lay off, if you just keep your eyes out of social media, out, out of your phone. Sheesh. But yeah, man, like, on some real shit. And another thing, too, bro, like, if I ever get a kid, he's not going to be on social media like that. He's not going to be on on. Um, I'm not going to let my kid use these type of phones. I'm going to let my kid use this, nigga, and go outside more out there. I want my kid to be in the dirt. I want my kid to go play tags. I want my kid to experience life. I want my kid to get nature. I want my kid to get vitamin D. Fuck all that Fortnite shit, nigga. Fuck all that bullshit. Social media, TikTok. Nigga, fuck all that bullshit. You feel me? But yeah, bro, that's all I got for y'all. You know what I mean? Like, comment, subscribe, Jacuzzi, I'm out. Let's get it.